Don't we all wish all chickens were this easy to deal with? She's soaking her foot in an Epsom salt bath. You may ask why, and she has some bumblefoot going on, and she's not using her one leg. This is the chicken that was attacked by the hawk, but seemed fine. So here she is. This is the little chicken that the hawk attacked, and she seemed to be doing just fine. And then I found her a week later, all huddled up in the coop. She will not use that bumblefoot leg at all. Bumblefoot is a fairly common occurrence around here that I don't always treat unless I notice it causing the chicken a problem and being swollen up. Um, what I've been doing with her, like I'm going to show you, is soaking her in Epsom salt and then also putting um, some Neosporin on that leg and vet wrapping it, which you can find with a Google search. But we just got that scab to come off the other day. So... This should be well on its way to healing, and she's still not using this leg. Although today she's standing up a lot more than she usually does, so I don't know. She looks like she's on her way to taking over the rabbit cage and becoming a garage ambassador chicken or something. I'm not sure. So we'll see. I'm going to give her a little bit more time, but the prognosis of a one-legged hopping chicken isn't very good. And when I've tried to put her back with the flock, like on nice days, it doesn't go well at all. She can't move and they just jump on her. So I don't know what her prognosis is going to be here. But normally Bumblefoot heals fairly well and it doesn't come down to a chicken refusing to use their leg. That's Blue right there. She was very sick earlier this week. I didn't think she was going to make it. She's looking pretty good now. Okay, going right there is Blue, and she is a five-year-old Americana. And last week I found her just kind of standing, unresponsive, and brought her in. Couldn't figure out what was wrong with her, besides she's old. But she had very kind of diarrhea and had a very squishy crop which I thought was sauerkraut. <laughs> hey, look who's missing his beard. Somebody's been plucking it out for him. So I thought maybe she had sauerkraut, which I don't really know what to do with. Couldn't get her to eat, couldn't get her to do anything. <laughs> Eventually what I settled on was trying to treat her for casidiosis. And I didn't really think that was going to work, but I'll tell you, she has gotten a lot better. I don't know if that's what it was or not, but this has helped her. Um, we tend to think of this with chicks, but I think any age chicken can get it, possibly. Um, so this can be bought at a feed store. It's pretty pricey. I mean, in my opinion, I think it was $18 at TSC, Tractor Supply. But um, it's definitely worth having on hand.